EFF leader Julius Malema is hopeful that his party will perform well in the Cape Town communities. He's addressed a large crowd gathered in Greifontein this afternoon. Our reporter Nasipi Same is there and joins us live now. Nasipi, big promises being made by the EFF, but the question is, will they deliver? Nasipi, can you hear me? Yes, I can. So, Nasipi, big promises being made by EFF leader Julius Malema, promising that if the EFF were to govern in the city of Cape Town, people can expect free basic services. What can you tell us about what's being said there? Well, big promises have been made by the EFF, as you are aware. The EFF um, president, Julius Malema, just wrapped up his address here um, in Cryfontaine. But a couple of days ago, he's been crisscrossing a number of communities, including places like Nyanga, uh, uh, Kayamnande, and Stellenbosch, including places like Kaelicha, making those all-important promises and most importantly saying that uh, they will indeed ensure that uh, the people of Cape Town and the West Western Cape will have land for them to put up their homes. But I'm joined here by Mr. Gadi, who is also a special deployee to the Western Cape. Thank you so much for your time. You speak about land expropriation without compensation. However, the city of Cape Town has a particular bylaw, the street, public places, and noise nuisance bylaw that will see people occupying vacant plots of land um, being removed by the city. How do you plan to marry um, the, the, the stance of the EFF, including the bylaw, should you win the city of Cape Town? It was never a law to expropriate the land from the indigenous Africans. So it doesn't need a law to actually even stop them from repossessing what belongs to them. Our people will definitely be expropriating land without compensation at a very intensified level here in the Western Cape and in particular the Cape Metro. It is here in the Robben Island at Waterfront that the expropriation of land from the indigenous Africans started. And it is here in the Waterfront and the Cape Metro that the expropriation of land by our people will actually intensify and we will look forward to our people taking over the land that rightfully belongs to them. Mr. Gadi, when you extensify the expropriation of land without compensation and taking the land back, as you put it, how do you plan then to intensify the service delivery? Because people that will be occupying these vacant plots of land will require houses and also require services. Well, uh, the EFF is going to take over the Cape Metro. At most, we are going to perform uh, uh, significantly well such that the, the metro will be hung. We will have a voice in the metro to determine where is the budget, where it should go, and how it should be spent. And that is how we are going to contribute in um, bettering the lives of our people by ensuring that for every time the budget vote is being debated, money has been allocated for quality houses of our people, for the unblocking of the blocked uh, drainages, for dealing with the sewage spillage that our people are meant to, to live with, and also to eradicate this porta porta uh, toilet system here in the Cape Metro and restore the dignity of the African people in the, in the Cape Metro. As it stands, uh, uh, land, uh, or rather the expropriation of land without compensation, as, or rather that is still on its way. Um, it has not been passed as a, a, a law as of yet. Do you not see, um, you know, encouraging people to occupy land will, might be a problem? Um, you encouraging lawlessness? Well, uh, it was lawlessness when the whites uh, invaded uh, South Africa through the waterfront uh, with their three dormitories ship. That was very unlawful what they did to, report, to take the land of our African people. Our African people are taking what rightfully belongs to them, what was forcefully taken from them through genocide and wars of land disposition. There's nothing we can do about it when our people decide to do as they wish because they don't have land. They are landless. Where do you expect them to go? What do you expect them to do? Because they definitely need a place to, to, to build a house, a place to plant food, 
food and, 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 and benefit from the land and get job from the land, get food from the land and have a, a nice life like the Ruperts in Stellenbosch, like the Rothschilds in Stellenbosch, like Helen Ziele in Camps Bay and all other places where the whites are staying. They too need land like the whites. Let's talk about the EFF and its growth from the 2016 uh, local government elections. Are you confident that uh, you will be increasing your seats um, in the city of Cape Town Council? You will remember that in 2014 we got about 30,000 votes or 35,000 votes here in the Cape Metro alone. In 2016 we got about 40-something thousand votes here in the Cape Metro City uh, alone. And in 2019 we got about 68,000 votes here in the Cape, City, uh, Cape Metro alone. And you can see that we are the only political party that is actually growing and we think we are going to, uh, uh, to perform a, a significantly uh, very well here in the Cape Metro. Fontaine is the home of the EFF. Kailicha is the home of the EFF. Nyanga is the home of the EFF. What 57 and what 9 where the higher institutions are, are, are based are the homes of the EFF. We have been winning all these SRC elections in these institutions year in, year out. We have worked and spoken to the young people in the institutions of higher learning to register to vote. They have registered in numbers and there will be a high uh, uh, voter turnout from amongst the youth and the students of these two higher institutions. Definitely we are going to increase and get uh, something up to seven digits of uh, 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 votes here in the, in, the, in, the, in the Cape Metro. Thank you so much, Mr. Gaudi, the special deployee of the EFF here in the Western Cape, giving us an update regarding their stance as the EFF on land expropriation or the compensation, and also speaking to the bylaws. Earlier on, we heard um, the leader of the party, Julius Malema, saying that uh, the bylaws that are seen as anti-homeless and anti-poor, they are saying that they will be tending to that should, or rather, when the residents of Cape Town vote for them to have a significant number number of seats in council. We heard Mr. Gadi now saying that they're looking at seven figures in the city of Cape Town in order for them to have a stronger voice in the city of Cape Town Council. However, we have seen uh, heavyweights from various political parties descending to the city of Cape Town, de deploying various members to obviously woo the voters just before the local government elections on the 1st of November. However, with the promises made, it's yet to be seen whether or not the residents are con convinced um, and will be voting for the various parties and ensure that uh, they have more muscle power um, in the city of Cape Town Council. Back to you. Well, that's our reporter, Nasi Pisame. She's out in Greifontein, where the EFF is sending their message, or rather continuing with their campaign trail in the Western Cape. They're promising free basic services and also free education in the areas where the EFF will govern.